Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Earlier in the evening, we opened up the phone lines as we've started to do now on a daily basis at live.perillo.com. Sometimes I open them up earlier in the day and sometimes a little later in the day as the evening wears on. Um, good questions come in, uh, and uh, one of the discussion points happened to be about broadband and uh, some issues that some people in the Seattle area were having with Comcast. And just a couple seconds ago, Rekai in the chat room said, Chris, slightly related to your broadband option woes, what are your thoughts about the rumors of the 700 megahertz spectrum potentially being used for high-speed nationwide wireless internet? I haven't looked into it very much, but it seems like it could be a very good idea for people who can't currently get high speed or people who want more options. Well, if you didn't catch the news, Wi-Fi at Starbucks locations is now free, and it's about time. I'm not speaking to the quality of the coffee, but hey, who's going to turn down free internet access? Especially if you're just doing some benign web browsing, maybe some Google searching or you know, map hunting or whatever it is. The last thing you want to do on a public wireless internet connection is anything that's not encrypted. So if you check your uh, uh, email, make sure you're going over an HTTPS if you're doing it by the web, uh, and including Gmail. And I mean HTTPS all the way, not just the first time you type it in. Um, just be secure if you're going to be uh, opening yourself up in a public capacity. So wireless internet is just everywhere. It, it's now everywhere. And so that's only going to get more and more open. It's only going to become more and more available. You can't walk 20 feet in an average neighborhood without hitting an access point. Am I right, guys, in the chat room? Am I right? Tell me I'm right. It's just everywhere. Businesses have it. Homes have it. So why don't we just assume that it's just there? The problem with a lot of telcos, most if not all, is that they want you on their wireless service to experience their version of a wireless internet. And that's that's crazy. Because it's the internet, right? Well, right now we're going to be uh, sticking with one provider or another. We gotta deal with it now, but at some point it's not going to be that way. If given a choice, uh, you'd certainly choose a, a faster broadband option. Some people don't have access to a faster broadband option, which is sad. It's a digital divide. Internet is essential. Now, I'm not going to place it in the Maslow's hierarchy of needs or anything, although some would argue that it is. In fact, Ponzi tonight she uh, told me she was visiting some friends. She was a little frustrated because she couldn't get online and she felt cut off. What happens when your internet goes down? Now imagine not having the internet at all. If you're doing research, gaming, watching some idiot stream live video out over the internet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perilla.com. Imagine if it was everywhere for everybody. Like television. Throw up an antenna, you can get a signal. Throw up an HD antenna, you can get an HD signal. Like radio. Throw up an antenna, you get it. Eventually, the internet will be the same way. It's so essential for communication, not just between businesses, but between persons, individuals. And to not have that is is just, it's, it's sad. It is absolutely sad. And sometimes you're limited by uh, distance. I live very close to some areas that are, you know, kind of the, the boonies. And I don't think they have access. And if you live in the boonies, maybe you don't have good access. You know what I'm talking about, right? The only way to get to you is by running cable right now. Or satellite. It's not always the best option. 
So wireless is becoming more and more of a reality. The idea of charging someone for access to the internet, uh, it's, it's still a reality today, but at some point in the future it may not be. Do you get charged for watching television? Now, if you subscribe to certain services, yes, you do, because they're giving you access to certain content, etc. But uh, you don't have to pay for television. Throw up an antenna. You guys still have one of those, right? You have an antenna, little rab rabbit ears. Rabbit ears. Hammer down. Rabbit ears. Hammer down. Rabbit ears. You can do that with HDTV for free. You can get HDTV for free. So long as you got the HDTV, you got to have the equipment, right? You can't get on the internet unless you have the equipment, right? So maybe we're going to see the internet evolve wirelessly. Is wireless necessarily the most secure? Oh, no, 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 no. Heck, even wired networks aren't secure. You'll never hear me say, oh, yeah, wireless networking, as long as you just lock it down and put a password on it, you'll be fine. Never will those words trickle from these lips. It's just not the case. you got to do your best to protect yourself. So, uh, I'm curious, what do you think? about this uh, idea of wireless internet just being anywhere and everywhere for anybody to access at any time regardless of their device regardless of a service provider just being there I like thinking about that future that's a that's a utopian vision right there then again I remember the day when we didn't even have wireless internet we had to plug in cables into hubs we didn't have such fancy things as DHCP yeah I know my eyes are popping out too yeah those were uh, scary days <sighs> how do you feel about this are you kind of in the boat where you wish you had a better broadband if you didn't have wireless internet, you know, what would you do? What would you do? What do you want it to be like? And I know everyone says, oh, I want it to be free. It will be, eventually. It'll take about 20 or 30 years, but the internet at some level will be free at some point. Mark my words. It will be free. Just like television, you can't, it's, you just need, it was a communications medium. They had to make it available over the air. They had to. Well, television's not so important anymore. It really isn't. To 663 people right now at 12.28 in the morning, my time, earlier we had about 900 to 1,000 people watching. Television wasn't important to them either. Some guy emailed me the other day, says, thanks to you, I, d I don't have cable TV anymore. I never watch cable TV. I, watch, I tune in to the community. I watch the videos on YouTube and talking about tech all the time. That's the idea. Not just once a week in a podcast. We talk about it all the time. Like we can't escape it. It will not leave us alone. It is blowing through the air. There it goes. That's the sound it would make. If you could hear. Wireless internet. Actually, I'd, I don't know. I can't confirm that. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing. No matter, if you are interested in discussing these very, very relevant topics, yeah, feel free to stop by the chat room. Drop me a line, an email. Maybe you want to talk uh, in, in, about something that's somewhat important. My email address is chris at perillo.com, and the chat room is uh, always open. We've uh, let the floodgates kind of, well, I think there's a, Someone got stuck in the floodgate, and so now it's kind of there's this crack, so we're letting people get through. So anybody's talking right now. I don't know what they've been saying, but I'm a little frightened by if I rewind and, and look. But hopefully they've been ha behaving. We, we, we attract hundreds of people every day. This is better than television. It's the Internet, and you obviously have access to it. Otherwise, I don't know how the heck you're watching this. Are you watching this on your TV? Dude, I know this is not amazing quality, and on behalf of myself, I would like to apologize for how ugly I am.
just turn uh, turn around. Just listen to the audio. You don't need to see anything here. It's just me and my uh, computer screens and strange lights. And you can't see the wireless internet going back and forth, can you? Yeah, reading the chat room is half the fun of doing these videos anyway. It is open for you to stop by and visit and to discuss, hopefully, some deep topics. Of course, when you stop by, don't be surprised if they're talking about gaming or internet, tips and tricks, asking for shopping advice, product advice, looking to save money. Not like we don't do that every day. What do you want to talk about today, Chris? How about we talk about Xbox 360s? Chris, are you taking live calls? Yes! Oh, and of course, the occasional political comment. Ron Paul for the win. Anyway, swing the chat room. We're open anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, typically talking tech, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.